Welcome back to another video style crew. If you're new here, I am Rio. Today, as you can see, we are talking about the puffer jacket. The puffer jacket has pretty much been a trend for the past several months and I have been seeing them everywhere. They've been popping up in different colors, different fits, different styles, different fabrics. And of course, with the current trend, I've been seeing them with the shorter body, crop, wide, and um, of course it isn't for me, but I think it's cool that different brands are finding ways to stay relevant. Now one color in particular that I've been seeing pretty much everywhere is this, a lot of brands are calling it Ecru. Essentially it's like a cream, beige, ivory, off-white, off-white as in the color, not necessarily the brand. So I decided to just grab one. Now this particular puffer jacket is by Topman. I got it on ASOS. If it is still available, I will link it down below in the description for you guys. And I have four outfits on how we can style this particular color of a puffer jacket. This one in particular has a removable hood. So out of the four outfits I'm showing you today, two of them are featured with the hood and then two of them are without the hood. When we talk about this color, I think this color is a really good late winter, early spring color. So a lot of brands have been doing these for the past couple months and I think you're gonna still continue to see them popping up here and there. For sizing, this is a size medium. I am 6'1", 170 pounds for size reference. Again, I got it from ASOS. If it is available, I will link it down below, but I will also link other options and alternatives down below in the description section for you guys as well. Anyway, enough about the jacket and about the color of it. Let's hop into the four outfits. For me, when it comes to styling this particular piece, I didn't want to overwhelm it. I didn't want to take away from it. I wanted to make sure that I have proper color balance. I pretty much wanted to allow this to shine in its own way. And being that it's a beige and light color outer piece, I wanted to stay away from light colors up top. So for outfit number one, I utilized this chocolate brown turtleneck from H&M as a base layer, which it has a rib knitting body, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. The fit is amazing, it's at a size medium. And I will try to link pieces down below if I can, if they're available. And if not, you can just utilize these as inspiration if you have something like this or intend on getting something like this. So this being my base layer, and above that, I added this also from H&M, um, zipped, over shirt maybe, I, I guess you can call it an over shirt. Two chest front pockets, a silver contrasting zip going up, and it has a houndstooth pattern to it, earth tone mix with the browns, the beiges, and the creams, and I thought it just bounced really nicely off of the brown uh, turtleneck. This ended up being the upper half, and of course the puffer jacket, the cream puffer jacket was over that, providing a nice contrast and balance between all three pieces. And then to finish the bottom off, I had these light beige, almost like a stone, pair of slim pants from Mango, somewhat similar to the jacket, but it didn't match and I didn't want it to. Of course, I didn't want it to blend and bleed all together. I wanted to have really good separation between each piece and have some really good balance in the colors. And then I finished the look off with a pair of chocolate suede Chelsea boots to create this look. Ultimately, I really like the way this look came out. As you guys know, I love earth tones, but it's not so often that I wear dark brown, and I usually stay away from it because my skin is dark, but of course, if you pair with other lighter colors, it kind of gives a really nice balance between the dark colors and the lighter colors, and I think it just works. I think it works really, really well. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Moving on to outfit number two. All right, so here we are with outfit number two. And you may notice that I have on a different pair of pants and it's because I forgot that the pants I was originally wearing was a part of outfit number two. So I had to switch them up and then of course hang these up so I can showcase them to you guys for this outfit. Sometimes I put these outfits together weeks before I can actually do a talking portion. And for this video, I wanted to do a talking portion showing you why I put certain things together in this way. And I put these outfits together like almost two weeks ago. And Although these outfits, most of them kind of be more catered to winter, I think you can adjust them slightly to work for early spring as well. Depending on where you're located, you still may have some slight cold weather and these maybe can be some inspiration to kind of help you. Anyway, for outfit number two, I think this is my personal favorite. It's very, very, very simple. All we have here is this beautiful um, boucle sweater that I picked up from Zara. Now, if you saw my winter Zara haul, I'll put a card up here for you guys to check it out if you haven't. But if you've seen that video, you saw me feature this in that video. So we have this as our top layer. Now, like I mentioned earlier, when it comes to this piece, it's about making this piece pop. So you wanna have something that's gonna give it a nice background to pop off of. And I thought this color did just that. So we have this as the under piece. Beneath that being the bottom, 
we have this khaki colored twill pants and then to kind of give more of like a more of a uh, attention to detail which is more of like a pattern i grabbed this scarf which is a i don't even know what color taupe maybe um pattern scarf from ralph lauren and i thought it did a perfect job of blending all of this together and making everything pop and on the footwear as you can see i have on the brown doc martin 1460s which are the aztec something i don't know the exact name of those if you guys saw my last video, which was the Timberland versus Doc Martin, I kind of talked about how I never really wore Doc Martens. I kind of told you all that reason there. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out up here. So I ended up picking up three pair of Doc Martens recently. If you guys would like to see a video dedicated to styling Doc Martens, just let me know by dropping a comment down below or just, of course, hitting the like button for me in this video. I picked up the ones you see in this outfit. I picked up the black pair, of course, that I showed in the last video. And I picked up like this, brownish reddish color that was i don't know why i'm still holding these i picked up this brownish reddish color that i wore in my winter lookbook in outfit number three which was my personal favorite and based on this poll it was your guys's personal favorite as well this outfit in the previous outfit as you saw these were the outfits that i removed the hood for so the last two outfits would be a little more i guess somewhat dressed down or like a little bit more sporty so for that reason i put the hood back on this outfit was a little more casual and the first outfit was a little more kind of like a dress casual so for that reason the hood had to come off anyway let's move on to outfit number three for outfit number three we're adding a little bit more color into the mix so as we talked about providing that contrast and that separation for the outerwear the base layer we have this burgundy-ish faded bordeaux color t-shirt and of course this is being a darker top the jacket just pops right off of it as the bottom layer we have this mid blue wash denim jeans with some rips at the knee and just like i did with the previous outfit i want to utilize the scarf to kind of just to bring more color more dynamic a little more detail because we have a pretty much bland outfit right here with that and i wanted to bring in a little more detail by utilizing the scarf it's not a really thick scarf, so I think you can get away with it during the spring, a little more, not as cold, cold weather. Really working with the shirt really, really nicely, and of course, giving that a really nice separation pop. The footwear is a pair of Nike. I don't know what these are called exactly, but as you can see, they end up working with that t-shirt really, really nicely. And I just thought that this outfit came together perfectly. The midsole of the sneakers is almost the same exact color as the coat and all of the colors just work together really, really nicely. And I also did throw in a gray beanie, a light gray beanie, which kind of pulled together the tones from the scarf as well to kind of just pull this collective look together. For outfit number four, this one is more so about the navies. It's more of a navy structure with some added detail. So for this one, we have a base navy t-shirt, very simple. And on top of that, so we get that detail out, we have this beautiful trucker jacket from Zara. It's more of a stretch fabric. And it's, um, as you can see, has this kind of a, a darker tone pattern on it with some somewhat like an awful, like a really, really dark navy, a midnight navy, and some, I don't know if you would call those like a, a, a yellowish wheat don't know what you call it some burgundy in there as well so that's more of the the pattern the detail in this fit and if you notice with all four of these outfits all of them had some kind of pattern or detail because with this being such a bland outer piece i like to make it have something to offset it to, to give something that gives a little more attention to the overall fit and it's a personal preference some people may like it some others may not like it to keep it very structured and keep it somewhat simple we just have a pair of dark wash denim jeans you guys know i love these they're a staple in my wardrobe and it should be in everyone's wardrobe so that's the 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 base layer the navies with that added detail more of the statement to top it all off and give this even more detail we have this knitted copper scarf the tones don't necessarily match the jacket and i wasn't really going for it too much i wanted to have something that kind of offset and i went back and forth whether i liked it or not but ultimately i think i really really like the way 
that came out. For the footwear, I utilized the Analog 700s to tie back into the jacket with that creamish grayish base on that sneaker. I thought it just worked out so well and I just like that outfit as well. So let me know what you guys think about that one. It's for me, it's all about just tying these colors together. Of course, the footwear and the top worked really, really well. Like I mentioned before, I never really want to have too many of the same colors close together. So I wouldn't do this and these pants. Well, I guess I could do these pants if I offset it right. But I wouldn't do this in a pair, pair of pants the same exact color unless I'm going for a monochrome look. And of course, that's more done intentionally. But for that, you want to offset everything else. So everything just works. That If you do it that way, there has to be some intention to it. And that look has to be carried out with an intention so people know that you intended to do it just like that. Let me know what you guys think about these outfits. And just this, this trend of this, of the puffer jacket and done in this way. Again, these last two looks I did have with the hood on. This look, as you can see, was a little more somewhat sporty um, with the sneakers and then the, the, the trucker jacket being more of a stretch fabric. And then the outfit before was also sporty with the sneakers and um, the ripped jeans. So more of a casual, sporty street look. And both of those outfits had the hood on. The first two did not. Four outfits for an E-Crew ivory, off-white, whatever you want to call it, puffer jacket. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, drop a comment down below, letting me know which outfit was your favorite. If you are new to the channel and you love fashion and style and how to put different outfits together and all that stuff, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, click the bell, so every time I drop a video, you will be notified. If you like these outfits and want to see some more outfit inspiration, follow me over on Instagram for more of that. And that concludes this video. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Peace.